Hey guys, it's Cam with Craft and Tailored. In our first episode of Rip It or Flip It, I review your watches. Let us know in the comments below which out of the five we selected from this week's submissions you would rip or what you would flip. A rip is a keep, meaning that we would keep the watch for your, my personal collection and uh, you know, a flip it would be I would buy the watch and or most likely pass it on to the next owner, meaning flip it. So let's get into the watches, I'll see you there. Okay, so we received a ton of submissions but instead of reviewing all of them and having this be an 85 minute long review video, I'm gonna pick five of the most interesting and kind of like unique things that I would either rip or flip. So the first submission comes in from my very good friend at ID Guy. We are actually friends in real life and we met in London. We share a love for Tudor watches. He recently got a Tudor FXD. I also recently got a Tudor FXD. Super cool watch, definitely rip, keeping it in my collection. Okay, next up I've got a really cool um, little Zodiac Corsair. This one is submitted by El Hombre Magnesio. Very cool watch. I am a huge fan of Zodiac watches, as you probably know, as is Tyler. This watch would probably be a flip for me, not because I don't like it, but because the case size is really small. Although it's unique and really, really cool, um, for this one it would be a flip for me, something that I definitely would bring into our Craft & Taylor collection, but probably sell, and would probably be a cool watch for a lady. So all of our ladies out there, check these out. Um, this is a really cool kind of square design from the 60s or 70s. Next up, I've got an Omega Seamaster 300. This one comes in from at Phil Bamber. I think the community is referring to these watches as the Omega Seamaster Heritage or the Omega Seamaster 2021. It's kind of an homage Seamaster 300 release that I actually really like a lot. They kind of, uh, you know, are paying homage to the original Omega Seamasters of like the 1950s. This one in specific has um, really cool broad arrow hands and a lollipop sweep seconds hand. Um, this one, unfortunately for me, is gonna be a flip. It's just too modern for me. Um, although I think the watch is cool, this one would be a flip for me. This is something that I would sell and not necessarily keep. So next up, I've got a Tudor 7928. This one comes in from NV underscore vintage underscore. A lot of underscores. Uh, thank you for your submission. He actually submitted a couple of watches, but um, this specific 7928 um, Little Rose dial, I think is really, really cool. Uh, it's pre Tudor Shield logo. I love these watches. I think if you're looking for a matte dial 5513 or something like that, this is a really cool and kind of under the radar-ish alternative to that. But again, another uh, really cool Tudor. This for sure is a rip. Next up, we've got a really rare and uh, interesting Seiko. Huge fan of Seiko. Uh, this one was submitted by our very own David Von Bader. Uh, it is the Foot Willard. Um, so this is a 6105-8119, I believe. I know the watch, it's the US version, so I believe it's an 8119. Total rip on the watch, flip on the hairy leg. My, my legs aren't even that hairy, David. So uh, thank you for that submission. Really colorful, amazing submission. And this just goes to show you, if you run out of wrist space, you know, and if you're like Morgan King, double wristing, you also, like David, can put a watch around your ankle so you can keep track of three different time zones. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to Rip It or Flip It. If you guys wanna be featured in Rip or Flip, uh, send us your submissions and let us know in the comments which uh, watch you liked the most out of this series. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one.